guys welcome back to my channel today oh man oh man oh man we have two nendroids to unbox i don't know why i keep doing this to myself i'm actually really excited for these nendroids but they're nendroids so they're gonna be such a pain to unbox and i have two of them today so i'm really excited about who they are <laughs> But I'm also very, very, very not looking to forward to putting this thing together or these things together. But anyways, uh, today we are unboxing none other than my two boys, Reiki and Langa from Skate the Infinity. Oh my freaking gosh. I was so pumped for these. These are probably one of my most... Um, one of my most anticipated Nendroids to come out this year. I have a few others, but like these are definitely one of them too. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just so excited to, ah, I'm, just, I'm just really happy and really excited that we finally get something of these guys that are figure, in figure form. So um, without further ado, let's get started. Please make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you think of these guys uh, in the comment section below. Oh my goodness. I think we're gonna go ahead and unbox the Reiki first and then we'll go ahead and move on to Langa. Um, cause I think Langa's might be a little more, there's a little more uh, customizable options for Langa. So, and I wanna talk about that too. Um, so let's go ahead and unbox Reiki. Oh shoot, okay, so let me actually show you the box first. Uh, I actually really like the box. I love um, a how bright and bold the colors are and I love this graffiti aesthetic going on with Reiki's name. Uh, Longa has it too with his name, but I'll show you that when we get to unboxing him. Um, these are kind of the face play options and posing options you can have or put him in and then there's this one they have an infinity little infinity handshake or whatever and then we have this one i really like this face plate i think it's super cute <laughs> look at him but yeah i absolutely love this whole graffiti graffiti aesthetic i love when nendroid boxes kind of match the aesthetic of the series um even like the white the white looks like a uh, concrete or like wall it has like a wall texture concrete texture it's a bit grungy I don't know if you can see that on camera but it's very nice okay let's go ahead and unbox him these are by orange rogue or orange rouge or whatever which I they I already love how they execute an Android um, in terms of paintwork and stuff like that. Um, that is so cool. Okay. Oh, I did not. Ah, I love that. Inside the box, there's this like, I don't know, <laughs> graffiti art too. I think this is, yeah, it is. So this is basically the artwork that's under Reiki's, uh, skateboard. Oh my God. How cool is that? I love that. That is so clever. So Reiki comes with three face plates. He's got a default face plate, which I will show you in a second. And he has this starry eyed face plate that I mentioned that I think is really cute. Look at him blushing and everything. Oh, he's so adorable. <laughs> and then he has this um, smile with his eyes closed. Um, also pretty cute, but I'm not going to be using this. I already know. I typically don't really like using face plates when their eyes are closed, just because I think, like for characters like Reiki, his eyes are so pretty that I just feel like it'd be a waste to display him with his eyes closed, right? And then we have our boy Reiki, let me get the plastic off of this, who is wearing his default face. Look how, oh my God, look at him. He looks so cool. <laughs> okay, and then we have his skateboard right over here. Right? And then this was the artwork in the middle that was inside the box. Cool. I was so curious whether these wheels actually moved, but they don't. They're stagnant. 
they don't roll, which I mean, it doesn't really matter, honestly. I wonder if you can get one of those like tech decks, <laughs> like glue him on to it and just <laughs> roll him around. Do you guys know what I mean? Do you guys remember the tech decks? The little skateboards that everybody in, at least everybody in my high school or like elementary school used to play with. I keep doing this, but. <laughs> and then he had, he comes with like another bottom, another bottom, another leg part, another bottom part. <laughs> That's for like, if you wanna position him where he's kind of mid air with his skateboard, but I am not going to do that because I have these <laughs> Ojimacho Doremi Androids. Granted, they are not by Orange Ro Rogue, Rouge, whatever, but they are a disaster to like, I mean, you can see some of them are crooked and like one sudden movement and they are going to fall. So um, it's very risky, I think, to just place them mid air. Also, I feel like their heads are too big and too heavy for them to actually stay mid air and right like I don't know okay and then he just comes with I'm not going to take it out so I will show you because I don't really want to open the plastic but he comes with fries and then he has extra hands um one of the hands is holding I think one of the tools to fix his skateboard um, and then he has a hand doing the infinity sign so he can do it with langa and then he has a hand holding a single fry I don't know if you can see that okay and that's pretty much about it here's the thing I spent some time before filming this video looking at both Reiki and Langa's boxes and figuring out just how I want them to be posed. Super hard for me because A, I did want them at first to be mid-air, but I just, I, I just don't think that's, <laughs> I, th I think it's pretty risky to have them mid-air. And then I did want them have their little pose where they're doing their little infinity sign, but it looks like they have to face this way. I kind of wish they would face I don't know I, I I'm hoping what I'm hoping <laughs> I'm hoping that I can put Reiki and Langa where they're holding their skateboard because I think the art on the skateboard is super cool and I I feel like they have to it's like a no-brainer to have them with their skateboard in some way um, but I'm hoping I can have them stand with their skateboard and also maybe on with their other hand do an infinity sign uh, with each other but I don't know I'm not sure if that's possible so we'll see but let's talk about Reiki and what I think about his Nendroid the thing that stood out to me the most was the colors the colors are so spot on and this is what really kind of sold me that this was like if the colors were not going to be right I wasn't going to get the Nendroid thankfully the colors are perfect they are just bold enough they are they pop they are like the right shades of reds and yellows and oranges his eyes even are like the perfect color and it matches with the entire aesthetic of the series like these i feel like they literally just reached their hand into the an episode and and grabbed all the color and <laughs> threw it onto this nendroid i think it's perfect i'm just always impressed with orange rogues ability to paint these guys even down to like the little wrench at the side of his pants and the i'm guessing that's a chain i can't really tell i also really love that they made his drawstrings uneven it's super cute the hair sculpt is perfect uh there are some lights and darks in the red even though you have to look a little closer to tell but i honestly honestly i think it's perfect um i think it matches really well i think he looks so cute <laughs> Oh man, Nendroids are just so cute, you guys. They're just such a pain, oh my gosh. And I guess in the B-roll, you'll figure out if I was able to get him to hold his skateboard while doing the infinity sign with Langa because I'm not going to put them in their poses now. I'll put them in their poses after the video just to save a little time, but you're going to see it right now. So hopefully in the B-roll, <laughs> you can see Hopefully it worked, is basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, next we are moving on to Langa, and Langa's uh, 
color theme is blue for this box, of course. And the design of the box is pretty much the same as the Reiki's, except his name is on there instead of the Reiki's. It's also got that grunge texture, that concrete grunge texture on there. Uh, but yeah, there's also like, I think Reiki's had it too. Yeah, there's like graffiti in the background, very low opacity. You can see it more on Reiki's, but super, super nice. Honestly, when I opened up Reiki, he doesn't seem too difficult to put together, even though I haven't started yet. But just by looking at it, I feel like it shouldn't be too hard. Um, I might eat my words later, though. <laughs> okay, so here is the back of Langa's box. I love it so much. So again, this is uh, just like Reiki's skateboard illustration was on the back of his box. Langa's is on the back of his box. And it's this like abom abominable snowman or whatever, this little monster. Um, snowman, snow monster, whatever. Anyways, you get the point. Look at him. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Oh, okay. So there's a little note. So uh, if you're someone who throws away the box, don't do it. Pay attention first because on the flap of Langa's, was there anything on Reiki's? I don't think so. Yeah, okay, I needed to double check. Um, on the flap on Langa's box, it says, sticker parts inserted behind inner paper board. Oh, how do you, oh, okay, okay. So you need to lift this, okay, hold on. So when you open the box, right, you open it like this and like this, and there's this extra flap, you need to pull that up because there are sticker decals stuck to the back. I feel like they should have just put it at the bottom of the package, just like they do with the instructions. I feel like a lot of people can miss that. Do you know what I mean? Uh, that's a little, well, I'm not gonna take it out because I'm not gonna use them. Uh, and I'll tell you why, but they're basically just a bunch of decals of Langa's bandages that he accumulates every time he falls off the skateboard. So here you can see it you can see how it's used on the box right over here so while he's learning i don't know if you can actually see that but he's got a few bandages on his face when he's training himself or like he's training him how to ride a skateboard um and then these are just other poses you can put him in right okay so the thing is, I don't really want to use the bandages just because uh, I feel like I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> Everything I touch breaks. Let's just put it that way. I, f I feel like I'm not gentle enough to put the bandages on there, right? And, and I'll probably put it on crooked. I don't know if it'll, it'll matter. I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm very picky. <laughs> so I'm scared to use the bandages. Plus, I don't know. I feel like they just should have given you faceplate options with him with the bandages on and with them off. Also, if people ever want to like sell their Nendroid, I feel like using the bandages lowers the value of them. And yeah, I feel like what happens if you get sick of them and you want to take them off? You, I don't know if you can actually go in and reuse them. And even if you peel them off, you, I don't know. It's just, uh. and I also wonder if some people have nendroids that have similar decals that have like lifted some paint off of the actual figure this is my first time owning a nendroid that comes with decals but i know it's been done before with other nendroids so i'm not sure what their experience with that is so he comes with this uh, very pouty very um, angry but also very cute face plate look at him I hate that. I hope the glare is not too bad on this. Okay, well, there he is. <laughs> and then we have this very cute, amazed, mesmerized faceplate, and he's blushing, and I think this is when he was watching Reiki Skateboard, I want to say. Very, 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 very cute. Very shoujo manga-esque, shoujo anime-esque. Um, and then, of course, we have uh, him with his default faceplate. Very handsome. 
Look at him. He could. He looks like he could be in an Otome game, right? Mystic Messenger or something. <laughs> he could be like V's brother. Uh, do you guys know? Do you guys remember Mystic Messenger? Okay. <laughs> that I might just be exposing myself there. Um, he also, just like Ireki, comes with a second and bottom part where he can be positioned to be like on his skateboard and you know midair too and then we have his skateboard i absolutely love the art on the skateboards even though it came with decals for his faceplate i'm very glad that they didn't do that with the skateboards i'm glad that these just came painted on there oh this is this is so cute he comes with this burger that's half eaten by him and i guess that goes with this faceplate very cute and then he comes with the same like extra hands at, and arms as reiki does where he can hold his skateboard and his burger and do the infinity sign with him too so let's talk about the figure now can i just say my favorite okay well i absolutely love this blue on him of course it's his blue they they nailed it again with the colors of the character on his figure, but I have got to say I absolutely love, and this is more of a character design thing than a, like a figure sculpt thing, but I think they did it really, they executed it really well um, on the figure. I absolutely love the little, the two little front wisps of his hair that's just uh, falling in front of his face. It makes him look so handsome. He's so cute. His shirt is more like gray than white, but honestly, I can't really remember if it's like that in the series or not. So I, I feel like it should be white now. I, I could be totally wrong, but yeah, I, that just stuck out to me. Um, hair sculpt, phenomenal. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, when it comes to, I'm trying to say this without insulting Longa, because that's not my intention at all. I love Langa so much. I, I absolutely love him just as much as I do with the Reiki. But um, I think sculpt-wise, the Reiki's is very much more intricate. So, I, and Langa's is a bit more basic when you're comparing the two. So there's not really much to say about Langa's sculpt, except like I said, the hair is very well, well done. I love his eyes so much dude looks absolutely stunning look at him oh my god he's so cute yeah very adorable so i don't know if i showed this but he's also got like the little foot decals on his skateboard but yeah that is the ireki and langa nendroids from skate the infinity by orange rogue 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 <laughs> whatever <laughs> i think they're so cute i really love these boxes so much i don't like this i can't stop staring at the boxes um i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you're just as excited about these guys as i am who knows maybe they'll start making pop-up parades of them and maybe hopefully i'm praying to god we get scales of them as well it would be really nice to get like an actual like one figure of them but they're together like the um what is it? I think it's the Kotobukiya banana fish scale figures of Ash and Eiji. Kind of like that, where they go together, but you don't have to buy them separately. I think it would be really cool. I don't know. Maybe they could be doing the infinity sign, or they could be midair in a skateboard, or just hanging out next to each other while doing the infinity sign <laughs> and holding their skateboards. Um, who knows? Anyways, hopefully that, that'll be a thing in the future. Um, but if not, I'm still very grateful that we got an Androids of them. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you leave a like and comment and subscribe and follow me on Instagram too. I never really promote my Instagram, but I have figure photography on there. So if you want more figure content or like a better glimpse at the figures that I own, go to my Instagram, please, please please, <laughs> uh, and follow me there. But until then, I will see you in the next one, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys. Now I gotta actually go put these, put these guys together. Wish me luck. <laughs>